you have to have a Berlingo. Question is, diesel or petrol? Well, to help us decide that, I've been joined now by Top Gear's new car trader, pocket-sized chat, Jason Dorr. What do you reckon? Petrol. Really? Don't, yeah, don't bother with the diesel. Makes it feel too much like a van. Well, it did feel like that. Going down the motorway, there mm. was that noise, and you just think, look, I've saved enough money here. Yeah, but you can save even more at the minute. Really? Yep, they are doing a facelift on this car, which means they're going to change the bumpers and the bonnet and a couple of bits, yeah. but it'll basically look the same. What it does mean is that Citroen have got some of the old models. They need to get shot of them. These ones, basically? Yeah, yeah. This car? This car, yep. So what are they doing? They're doing a deal. You can get all of that off. So that means that instead of 8995, you can get a 1.4 for £7,700. 7.7 seven for seven, one seven, of these? Yeah. That's the bargain of the century. Cheap as chips. Good tip. <laughs> right. Jason, what you got for us? This all bargains for you. What Let's, are they? Ah, uh, well, last week's cheap Citroens. We've got another one for you. Um, C5, not a bad car, but it's up against a lot of really good ones. And um, it is a quite a bad car. It's not that bad. It's not. It's great spec. Big well, it's like treading in dog dirt. It's not as bad as having your leg chopped off, but it's still pretty <laughs> unpleasant. <laughs> okay. Well, the base model, the petrol base model, just isn't selling. Uh, the car's about fourteen and a half grand new retail. I was offered one this week, brand new. For ten grand. Ten thousand quid? Yeah, ten grand. One point eight. You've got aircon, you've got C D, electric windows, power steering, trick suspension. Ten grand. Rover seventy five, not a bad car, probably the best rover they've made for a number of years. Not much competition. Not much competition. <laughs> Two litre V6, good engine, but they've just dropped it. They replaced it with a one point eight turbo. It's a little bit more efficient on fuel, lower emissions and so forth. What it does mean is dealers with two litre V6s are out there doing a deal. So if you want a cheap Rover 75 and you can find a 2-litre V6, you're going to get a bargain. How much of a bargain? Talk to your dealer. There's no official figures, but they will do a deal, guaranteed. Big deals. Big deals. Oh, nice. Um, used car bargain. If anybody here fancies a Super Mini, now is the time to buy one. Um, things like Citroen Saxos, Fiat, Sacentos, all the kind of small stuff. And there's a very good reason for it. Because this is the time of year that the dealers change their courtesy cars, the loan cars, the kind of thing you get when your car's in for a service. And they tend to run super minis. They're normally... Sort of... Why do they change them this time of year? Well, it's a good, good reason for it. They build those cars in Europe, most of them are built in Europe, and in July and August they shut the factory and retool yeah. um, to prepare for the new models, next year models. Yeah. Um, this is the time of year the new models hit the UK. So basically okay. what they're doing is So they bought them a year ago? Yeah. Now they're flogging them on? Yeah, flogging them on. They'll, they'll be base cars, three doors, non-metallics and that kind of thing. But you can get a 12-month-old 12, 12 car for four grand. Four grand. So four? That's seriously cheap. That is cheap, actually. Yeah. Uh, another used car bargain at the moment, um, BMW 7 Series. You know what the new one's like? Pretty ugly. Um, new sales on that are not good, but the impact of that is the new ones made the old one look really, really old, really old-fashioned. So the prices are dropping big style. Really? Really, really dropping massively. If you've got one, it's bad news because it's going to be worth peanuts. But if you want to go and buy one, it's great news. Give you a little example. This is a car is offered this week, 728i, with a bit of spec on it, 2001 on a Y. So that car's 18 months old. The guy paid nearly 46 grand for it new. Today, he's selling that car without doing a deal, without even negotiating, he'll take 24 grand for it. <laughs> it's a half price car. <laughs> yeah. so Do we want... feel sorry for him? No, no. no. <laughs> a bit of luck. Um, and final thing, bit of a used car tip, really. If you're a person that does low mileage, the chances are when you go to look for another used car, you're, you're kind of fascinated. You want to buy another car with low mileage. Uh, it's absolutely the wrong thing to do. If you do low mileage, the thing to do is actually buy a car with massively high mileage. Reason being that cars with over 60,000 miles at the moment are being hit in the trade big time. So they are so cheap, it's untrue. Give you an example. You could go out and buy a 97 P-plate Mercedes estate car, C200, something like that, with average mileage, 50,000 miles. It cost you nine and a half grand. Yeah. Okay, not a bad car. Yeah. Or you could buy one with higher mileage, say 80,000 miles, and you could get a 2,000 model year, a car three years newer, for the same money. Really? Absolutely. So if you're doing low mileage, you run it for a couple of years. Because those engines will last 150, probably even 200,000 miles. Absolutely. This is the thing. So don't be afraid of the mileage, basically. 80, 90,000 mile car, you're still going to have 60,000 miles left in it. So that means, in the last two minutes, you've saved everyone about £25,000. Hopefully, yeah. Thanks very much for that. Now, Jay. This week's Insider Trading, we've got some real bargains for you. Good. Ever fancied an Alfa Romeo? Yeah, I think most people have at yeah, some point. 166, gorgeous looking car. The 166, the big one. It is a glamorous car. Great looking car. Yeah. The only problem with an Alfa Romeo is you're afraid it's going to depreciate and you're going to afraid it's going to cost a lot to keep on the road. But 
You can get one now, direct from Alfa Romeo, brand new, for three, four, nine a month. Right, that's not that much. How? How does this work? Right, contract hire, go in, it's a grand deposit, 11 and a quid deposit, and then 35 months at 350 a month. You can drive that car for three years, enjoy it, even have the servicing paid, and then hand it back at the end of three years. So these are these personal contract plans that people It's actually contract about. hire, so you've got to be that registered. But it's so cheap, unbelievable. 350 a month, that's, I mean, what would you pay for other cars? That's well, did the checks, found a couple of leasing companies. For 350 a month, you could drive instead a Vauxhall Vectra. Nice. Diesel. Oh, glamorous. Or oh. a 406. Yeah. Diesel. Mm. Or, if you're really, and this was the one that was a close run thing for me, a fully loaded Skoda Octavia. Really? 350. I think I'd take the Alpha. But oh, there are other cars like, I mean, say, 5 Series. Yeah. What, how would that two be? Two litre, well, 2.2 now on the 520 uh, uh, BMW. You're looking at about £100 a month more. Oh, so it is a big difference. Yeah, like 450 a month. 452 I think I got on a Merc E class. Oh, glamorous Italian car on the cheap. Oh, nice one. So cheap, yeah. But it only lasts for a month, so okay. November's your month to do it. Do it now. Another absolute bargain, this time on a used car, Deu. You know they went into liquidation. Yes. Yeah? All the administrators now are trying to get rid of all the stock, all the staplers, the computers, the whole lot. And part of that deal is they've got to get rid of the cars. Well, their company, all the company smokes. Bit. 700 used Deus are just hitting the marketplace. What, right now? Right now. They're actually going through the auction this week, so by next week they should be on dealer for So presumably, I mean, Deo are cheap cars anyway. Oh, Does yeah. this mean they're going to be cheap, cheap cars? Absolutely. Something like a Lanos, which would have cost ten and a half grand new, you can pick one of those up, probably about 18 months old, for just over four grand. But if there's that many 700 odd cars, mm. is that enough to affect a whole market? Or does that mean all Deos are now going to be cheap? Well, yeah. even cheaper. Even cheaper, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's some nervousness because obviously uh, GM have taken over and they're going to build a new network, and probably by this time next year there'll be like 100 new dealers out there. So you're going to get your servicing and your warranty and all that. But in the intervening time, the next few months, there's a lot of nervousness out there. But if you want a cheap car, it's not a bad car. Absolutely. Four grand. That is a cheap car. Yeah. Oh, and another one. Final one here. Really good. Now, loads of people run a second car and they normally look for something that's going to be cheap to run, something like a hatchback. Yeah. And there's loads of good cars out there and you're going to spend probably anything from nine grand up to about 15 grand on one. So you sort of Clio typical Yeah, or cars. Fiesta or base, base Focus, something like that. Cheap to run, easy to drive, power steering, air conditioning, great. The only problem is with any new car, and they're no exception, it depreciates badly. So in three years' time, whatever you've bought pretty much is going to have lost about two-thirds of its value. Mm -hmm. Now here's an idea. You can go out and buy a Ford Mondeo, right. which is a good car, yeah, a 99 on there, something about three years old, 35, 40,000 miles, and you can pick one of those up for about four and a half grand. So it's a much bigger car, and if it's only a couple of years old or so, I mean, it's, it's still quite fresh. Absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. Buy it from a dealer, get a warranty, full service history, you've got your aircon, your power steering, your airbags, all the bits you want. And the most you can lose on that car is going to be a grand a year in depreciation. Run it for four years, throw it away. So there's even more money saved. We can have bigger cars for less money. Jason, that's fantastic. I mean, more real life advice on how to save real money. You'll make us all millionaires by the end of this Thanks series. Thanks very much.